So what is going down? It's your boy Freeze and we're out here today with a full home chest and triceps workouts. Now, this is predominantly going to be based around push-ups and push-up variations, which is very exciting for me coming into these home workouts and doing these. The press-up, there are so many different variations of which you can hit different parts of your chest, engage more triceps and just be more challenging overall as opposed to just doing your standard press-ups. It's gonna mean for a more dynamic and functional athletic body, which is something that I think we all want. So first exercise of our circuit, we're gonna be going down for our standard military press-ups. So ideally, we wanna be doing three sets of a rep range, which is good for you personally. For me, I'm gonna try with different variations to hit different things. So our first one, I'm just gonna be going for 30 reps off the bat. When we get into some more closer grip variations where it becomes a lot harder, even just 10 to 12 reps is gonna be good for each set. So with each and every single exercise we're gonna be doing, we wanna be hitting our rep range and then resting for about a minute and a half afterwards in between the sets. By having the minute and a half rest, our heart rate is gonna be elevated, we're gonna be able to burn more calories and we're gonna be able to fail with lesser weight. We're using our body weight, we're not in the gym benching, you know, really heavy weight compared to our body weight. So the less rest we have, the more fatigue that we can actually get on our muscles being below our failure rep ranges because we haven't had that time to recover. So first exercise we're gonna get in for a military press up. Main thing with this, I see a lot of people doing press ups, push ups, call it what you want, but the military version is really just about focusing on getting that full extension at the top and getting a full lockout to engage our triceps as well. I see a lot of people just do press ups, they're down here when they're counting. We really just wanna be getting that full range of motion. Not only is it gonna hit our triceps, it's gonna promote a good squeeze for our chest as well with that full push through. So first exercise, we're gonna be doing 30 reps. So our next exercise, we're gonna be doing some dynamic explosive side-to-side -side press ups. So what we wanna do, we wanna get, if you've got a mat or something that you're using, again, this is completely optional, I just have it here. So for each rep that we're doing, we wanna have our hands wide apart and we're gonna be coming down and we're gonna be jumping up explosively to each side. So the next exercise in the circuit, we're actually doing the same exercise but with a different variation. We're gonna be going for a double rep on each side between the explosive switch over. So right down into it, and we're gonna be going one, two, and on that second one, we're gonna be jumping over. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. point we're going to try and incorporate our triceps a lot more into the workout so this is literally one of the most advanced push-up variations that you can possibly do we're going to get in that press-up position and we're going to have our hands as a diamond and this is not a usual diamond press-up we want to ideally be having that diamond down at our belly button so if you can see that my body is completely leaning forwards over the top of my hands I'm well lean forwards and from here, we're getting that press upward and outward. So it's basically simulating a tricep push down, but also a bit of a decline bench movement as well. So we still smash our pecs. So like I said, this is one of the hardest press up varieties that you can possibly do. It's gonna be really important to keep our butts up in the air. I'll show you what a lot of people do when they get to their failure. They're down there, but then their butts are coming down here and they're pretty much touching with their thighs before they even get a press, so it limits the range of motion. The higher our butt is in the air, the more 
we're gonna be able to come over and smash our tries and our packs. So with that all being said, let's get into it. Next exercise we're going to be doing is going to be a sternum diamond push-up. So we've got our hands a bit higher, it's actually going to be a little bit easier. We're going to try bring our hands up more towards our head. So what we've just done with our hands low, we had a bit of a variety of doing a tricep pull down. This is basically going to be imitating more of an overhead skull crusher movement of which we're going to be smashing the back of our triceps there. So just like the last one, we're going to be coming down into the position, diamonds, and we're going to have our butt up again and we're gonna be coming with our elbows coming out wide and then pressing and we've got all our weight ideally over our hands. So that's all our press up varieties done. Our final exercise today, we're gonna to be smashing right in the horseshoe of our triceps there. We're just gonna be finishing them off. We're gonna be using a table like so. And what we're gonna be doing is doing a skull crusher of which we're leaning towards the table. So I call this a table skull crusher. You can also do this on any surface, like a bench or a seat or anything you see around outdoors, you're gonna be able to do this exercise with. So the main thing, we want to be sturdy with this. We want to have our hands, ideally our thumbs up above, and we're going to be bringing our feet back as far as we comfortably can to the point where we can drop into the extension, the skull crusher, and mimicking exactly what we'll be doing in the gym with the bar above our head. So there you have it guys, a complete, full, effective chest and triceps workout from home using only body weight. Such a good routine when put together, but again, you watching this, you can take any of these exercises and put them into your own workouts as you wish. I hope you've learned something good from this vid. I hope you try and perform the circuit as I've just shown it. Such a challenging workout. As always, if you enjoyed the vid, drop a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought. I do also have a full free training month for you, which you can do with home workouts at the link in my description box below freezemamastertrainer.com also a free month of gym workouts in there as well and heaps of other goodies if you want diet coaching anything like that with me you can find that in my website as well so with that all being said i'll see you in the next vid stay getting it